Hi guys, it's Sam. It's a snow day today, so I thought I would film my update video on my January makeup basket slash shop my stash slash products that I want to use up video that I did. And I am so happy that it was a snow day because I was really nervous about driving in the car to work, but that decision was taken care of for me. So I was happy about that. It's so nice to have an unexpected day off. So I got up really late and um, made some food, made some soup. If you check out my Instagram, I'm made a copycat recipe from Olive Garden, the Zupa Toscana. It came out really good and just shoveled and played with Ava and it was a really nice day so far. So I am going to be doing an update video to my January video where I talked about my makeup plan for 2017 and I wasn't really sure what direction I wanted to go in. I had the ultimate goal of having a makeup collection that I love and I think that's what everyone aspires to do but I've just been thinking about how I want to go about it and things just change weekly so I'm still not sure what I'm doing I will show you the things that I have it's pretty much the same from last month and I did a declutter I didn't film it or anything but I did do a declutter with my foundations um, and so I thought I might do that with uh, my other makeup products like blushes and bronzers and powders and things like that. So uh, what I did was, which I'm, I can't show you right now because of the way that I'm filming, is I took uh, out all of my liquid slash cream products and I put it into my Muji boxes and my original beauty box that I have in front of me just so that I know those are the products that I should be using. And um, so I'm doing that with the liquid slash cream products. And so let's get started with what I showed you last time. Uh, I'll start with face. And I'm still using up the Clarins primer. And this I had uh, taken out of the tube. I think I had called it the Angel Veil. But this is not the Angel Veil. And I can't think of the name off the top of my head. I want to... Is it something? Obviously, it's a primer. I was going to say, yeah, it's called the primer. But it's the one that looks like this when it comes out. And it's a silicone base. I don't love either of these. I mean, this one, if you have beautiful skin, you could probably wear this alone. It gives you a really nice glow. And I am wearing that today. Um, but I need something to, to fill in my pores. So, still on the lookout for the perfect primer. And then I actually used today, this is the Revlon Photo Ready Prime Plus Anti-Shine Clear Transparent. This is very similar to, I believe, Mally's Poreless Face Defender, I think, or Face Defender. I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but it's just a clear, silky product that you could put over your makeup or under. And I choose to put it under, and I feel like it did kind of a nice job, so... Uh, I'm going to continue to use this. I added that in. And then for foundation, I am going to be using up, this is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin in Warm Nude. And I do like this foundation. I am wearing that today. And this is, it's not full coverage, but it's medium to full. And I do like the way that it looks. So I am going to be using that up just because I do have other favorites. And this isn't a favorite, but I like it. Next is uh, the Revlon Age Defying uh, Concealer in Medium, and I use that for under my eyes and to spot conceal, and I like this concealer a lot, so I'm going to continue to use that up, and, uh, you know, I just, there's, in my mind, I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to save all my products for, like, I'll use the products that I like, or, like, I, you know, I don't love them, but I don't dislike them and then end up with the ones that I like but I'm just going to I like this concealer I'm just going to use it up until I move on to the next one I barely have touched this is the pixie correction brightening peach concealer and it looks like this I have barely touched it I'm it's just a step that I don't go to and I'm probably going to get rid of that but I've been saying that that's been through a couple of declutters and I always take it back out so I gotta start using it and then I am I think I am going to be getting rid of this because it's just really dry and hard to use uh, you need the warmth of your fingers and I feel like it spreads the foundation around so 
I'm not loving that anymore. And then for for powder products on the face, this is the Gemma K bronzer. I'm not wearing this today, um, but I just am not in love with this color. I feel like it it goes a little bit orange, and I use so much of it, but I'm I I have so many bronzers that I do like that I'm going to probably not use this anymore. For powder. This is the Clarins uh, Shine Stopper, and I think this probably should have been in my purse, but I rarely reach for powder during the day just because I don't have time. But I am almost done with that, and I go through powders pretty quickly, so very happy about that. Highlighter. This is the Josie Marin, it's a super long name, Argon Enlightenment Illuminizing Veil. And so it looks like this, I don't dislike this product but it doesn't it, it's a very subtle highlight kind of reminds me of NYX's uh what is that called I'm forgetting all the names I am so sorry uh but it's a there's a NYX not it's not even NYX it's wet and wild there's they have a highlighter um it's just not an I'm not in love with it so I'm probably going to be getting rid of that and uh, the blush that I have been loving, I had shown you in the last video that I was using the NARS Orgasm. And this is a very pretty blush, but I kind of want to be able to change my blushes daily. So that's something that's probably always going to be changing. And I also, for, for a little while there, was using Max Melba. And this time, though, I've been loving this. And I feel like it's perfect for the fall, winter time. And this is the Bomb and Stain Blush in Pinstripe pinstripe and it's a little bit darker I'm not wearing this one I'm wearing actually a city color blush in pink glow but as you can tell it's kind of the same there's this dark pink right there which I are mauve color I just love it and um, it kind of gives me the similar effect to this but yeah I've been leaning towards really dark blushes and this one is fantastic um, oh I haven't even so for eyes, I don't do my eyes during the week. I just put on mascara and do my eyebrows. Uh, this is a NYX HD primer. I don't feel like it works for me, so I might pass this along. And let me just, sorry, I'm a little bit messy here. I changed, I had the round white makeup basket in my last uh, video about this. And I changed it to this because this is amazing. I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place. This is the Inter Design Vanity Spinner. And you can get that from Bed Bath. One of the best makeup organizers I have ever had. And I've gone through a lot of them. Uh, so for eyes, I don't really do eye makeup except for mascara, which... I'm still using the CoverGirl Lash Blast. I love this mascara. It's still going strong. It doesn't smell funny. It doesn't feel funny. So I'm going to continue to use that. Uh, still using the Clio Kill Black. Really like this. Stays on all day for my oily lids. And I don't use a primer under it. So love that. Uh, next is the eyebrow pencil. And this is Wet Wild. And I... I use so much of it. I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to finish it because it's so, it's almost done. I went through that pretty quickly. And then for lips, I haven't even, I don't, I just put chapstick on guys. I don't wear lipstick. Um, so I still have in my bag. These are the two that I had shown last time. This is the Marc Jacobs and these are both were birth, Sephora birthday gifts. That's the Marc Jacobs. And then this one is the Makeup Forever. And I really do like this one. It's just a perfect go-to, no must, no fuss kind of product. And Okay, so eyes. I have been loving. Uh, last time I had shown the Maybelline CoverGirl uh, color tattoo and back to the bronze. But I have fallen in love with Elf's Smudge Pot and Wine Knot. And... This is what I have on my lids with a little bit of one of my favorite colors from the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette, which is this kind of dual chrome color right there. It's so pretty. And in the inner corner, I did that green color that I did in my Artiste makeup video, which <laughs> those brushes, I used them, I used a couple today and um, they're fun to use, but I feel like it leaves my face looking streaky. So there's that and 
I think that's all I wanted to show you this time. I didn't really show you any replacements, a couple of replacements that I had done or changes that I have done. But in terms of, I think, bronzer, blushes, and powders, those are... Uh, I'm sorry. In terms of blushes and bronzers, those are things that I'm probably going to be changing every day um, or, you know, every few days just because I have so many of them and I want to kind of play around with them and I don't want to be stuck to one color. Uh, as far as foundation, concealer, and powders, those three I'm probably going to use up until... Um, up until they're done and then for foundation I'll just show you now so I went through all the foundations and I pretty much like all the ones that I have and there's you're not gonna be some foundations I only pull out for special occasions like the Estee Lauder double wear I only use that if I need it to stay on all day or if I'm going out to a really nice event I will wear that so there's certain foundations that I don't need to use up until I'm done with it but these three I um am going to be using up next. So this is the CoverGirl Outlast Day Luminous Foundation. And then this is the Dr. Hashka Foundation, which is more like a BB cream. And then this is an actual BB cream by Etude House. And um, unfortunately, it's all three of these alone don't work. But if I mix uh, this BB cream with either of these, they are fantastic. So I'm going to be trying to use that up after I finish the Maybelline Super, uh, the Maybelline, yeah, Super Stay Better Skin. That is it for right now. I know it's a little bit all over the place, and I might still do those videos where I go through, um, where I go through some makeup products, uh, like one section at a time, or one makeup area at a time, and do a declare that way. So let me know what your makeup plans are for 2017 and maybe I can get some direction with what I am doing. I hope you guys are all doing well and for those of you affected by the snowstorm, I hope you are doing well too. So I will see you guys soon. Bye!